Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of subchronic hemorrhage. A young female patient came with amenorrhea for more than 3 months. She had complained for lower abdominal pain for around 7 days. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Before starting the video as like other cases, I want to show you a picture of this case. Now this is the picture of the uterus in this patient and if I ask you about this cystic area, what should it be? Is it a gestational sac? On my primary impression, it should be the gestational sac, but it isn't. Now let's see, this is the gestational sac. Now what is this? This area is the crescentic collection extending between the uterine wall and the carinic membrane indicating the retroplacental hemorrhage. This is a chronic hemorrhage looking aniquic. It extends up to the placental margin here. The fetus is alive and moving. Overall, this crescent shaped area is the subcoronic hematoma. Here's the picture showing the fetus here and you can see this aniquic crescent shape area extends up to the placental margin. Here's again the picture showing the collection between the chorionic membrane and the uterine wall. Again another picture on the left you can see the collection extending up to the other part of the placental margin and this aniquic cystic area is not the gestational sac rather it is the collection. So in summary, a well-defined crescent-shaped aniquic fluid collection is seen extending between the uterine wall and the coronic membrane reaching the placental margin indicating it as a case of subcoronic hemorrhage. Now the take-home message. Subcoronic hemorrhage is a common case within the first 20 weeks of gestation where blood collects between the chorion and endometrium. These patients may not come to you with the history of parvaginal bleeding. Rather, they usually come with the complaint of acute lower abdominal pain or even they may be asymptomatic. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.